Well, a new day and a new adventure, guys. I had an awesome time yesterday out in the city um, watching the Buskers Festival. They had some really good events on, and luckily enough, I was chosen twice um, to be in the events. It was kind of weird, but it was pretty funny at the time. Um, and riding those scooters around yesterday was so cool. They get up to like almost 30 kilometers, and it's just such an easy way to get around the city. But guess what? If you didn't know this already, I bought a car. Woohoo! Got my Toyota S-Team in 1997. Um, I bought it for $4,000 uh, from a nice is Israelian couple. And it is so good. This car is rigged out, guys. Um, I won't show you all the specs now, but I'll get around to it. And um, at the moment, I am at the shops. So I'm going to stock up on some food. Um, which is so good because I'm sick of just eating hostel food. And then I'm going to head to the AA, which is like a department of transport, to get some insurance. And then I'll be off on my way out west to hit up some hikes and start camping. Woohoo! Anyways, let's start the day, guys. Woo! Well, $350 later and my shop is done. I have so much food. It should last me a fairly long while, hopefully. Uh, but I tried to do a good shop. I tried to do as cheap as possible. Uh, and also while buy, buying like healthy things. And I did pretty good on the meat situation too because I wanted to just get enough meat to fit my fridge. And it literally all just fit. So that's perfect. That's why I love having a fridge with this car. Okay, so right now, guys, I'm going to try to find an AA um, to get insurance for my car. And then after that, I'm going to head out west into the mountains, to the campsite, and then I'll show you the rest of my car. Well, I got my insurance. It was very easy to get. Um, it only costs like $17 a month as well. And I've, I've realized that I had a dead empty tank, so I had to fuel up. And the fuel prices are just ridiculous here. It's like two dollars and three cents for unleaded so it cost me a hundred dollars to fill up a 50 liter tank so it's quite an expensive day for me today paid for food paid for car fuel insurance <sighs> it's all done though it's all done and now it's finally time to hit the road Okay, so I've already ran into a little issue. Um, I actually didn't book this campsite. I just thought I'd be able to rock up and it'd be available. But apparently there is a gate and it's got a lock on it and the lock has a code. So I'm just gonna go over to, I'm just gonna go over to the reservation table and hopefully there's a spot available for me because I kind of want to stay here tonight. We'll see. Okay, so I'm not already lost. There's, there's buildings around here. There's no one in them. They're abandoned buildings. I don't know where this office is. 
Okay, so I've had no luck finding anyone around this area. Um, and apparently there's like a phone number that you have to ring to book, so I'm gonna give the number a go and hopefully I'll get lucky. Yep, okay, all good, thank you. Cheers. Bye. Sorted. Okay, so I finally organized my camp spot. Um, and I spent the past two hours just setting up my car and putting away all my food. But I am impressed with this view. How good is this? Everywhere around me. So I reckon tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up early and try to catch a sunrise because it's gonna be a great sunrise around here. Um, and if any of you guys ever want to visit this spot, it's called Godly Heads uh, Campgrounds. And it's only like a 30 minute drive west of um, Christchurch. So it's a beautiful spot to visit. And the road driving here was just amazing. And it was like a pure drop off over the side. Um, but right now is the time and moment you finally get to see my car. So here we go guys. Time to reveal my almighty Toyota s -Tuma. I'll show you the specs. Say hello to my Kiwi ride. 1997 Toyota Estima, aka Big Rig, aka my ride. All right, let's go check inside. So right up in here, we got it all set. Got me bed, full layout, heaps of space. Look at that, how comfy is that? And right above me, got the moon roof. And in the front, got the sun roof. Great car to drive, super comfy. So much space. Oh, can spread out with ease, just like that. But wait, that's not the best part, guys. Come check this out, come check out the back. Here we go. So at the back, this is where it all happens. This is where all the gear gets put. So we got a fridge, which is super handy to have because I've managed to fit all my meat in there. We got a three-way stove top, which pulls out. That's right, how good is that? Yep. Comes with pots, tools, cutlery, everything you would need for an amazing camping experience. And just some few knickknacks, super glue, things that I would need in case something goes wrong that I need to fix. But such an awesome setup, and it even comes with my own little mint plant. So for those really fancy dinners, I can use that. Um, and then I got a 20 litre water drum and this is where I keep all my other um, vegetables and bread. And yeah, there you go guys. Okay, now that we've sussed out the back, let's go to the driver's seat. And I also would like to mention that I have recently gotten three brand new tires on it, which I did not have to pay for. And it also has brand new brakes, which is great because that's a less of my worries. And here is the driver's seat. Snug, comfy, plenty of space, drives like a beast. But wait, there's more guys. I have plenty of storage space, so let's go check out where I have to store everything else. So under my bed and under everything here, is where I store all my stuff. Oh yes, and I also got two spare seats that come with the car, which is great. All right, so let's check out what is under my bed. Okay, so under my bed is where we have all the storage space needs. Right here, under this, we have plenty of spare blankets and ginormous pillow for some reason and of course some summer summer bees for the road and in the other side we also have more storage for majority of my food so 
shop. This is where I keep all my cooking equipment and drinks. Then, on this side, we got the snacks. Plenty and plenty of road snacks. And it also comes with a table. And, and, but wait, there's more. This also folds up into a table. Kind of. <laughs> so that folds up into a table like that and I can lay down my cushions and sit in there. And under that little box in there, that's where my battery is, my second battery. So I have an inverter that can run everything and I've got another power outlet where I can charge everything as well. So that's my setup guys and I cannot wait to take this big rig around New Zealand for the next few months. I'm getting so excited for it. Um, right, eh? so I'm just going to get a little bit more comfortable, put my mattress back and I'll be right with you in a second. Whoop, whoop, finished. <laughs> so as you can see guys, I have a pretty awesome setup here, don't I? Um, and as long as this camper van makes it till the end of the three months without any problems, then I'll be happy. Uh, this is this is a really different experience for me because I've never actually done a big road trip by myself. Um, and it kind of does feel weird traveling by myself in a camper van. Uh, but I am also trying to find people along the way to travel with. So I'm hoping I'll find myself a travel buddy um, in the next few weeks, a few days. So I'm not as lonely, but I'm really escaping my comfort zone right now and facing the fact that no, no matter if you're even alone, traveling by yourself, you can still have an awesome time and I am having a ball. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog there today, guys, because it is like almost past 7 p.m. And I am getting so hungry. So I've got to start cooking dinner. And then maybe, maybe I might hike up to the top of this mountain back here to watch the sunset. And then I'll be spending my first night sleeping in my camper van, watching the stars through my moon roof. Ha <laughs> ha so cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, remember, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll be seeing you on another road trip adventure. Woo! Nah, that's just not right. I'm not ending the vlog in the van. I'm gonna end it hiking up this mountain, getting to the top, and watching the sunset in T minus 30 minutes. I'm gonna make it and it will be the epic ending. <laughs> and to make it even better, we got some New Zealand sheep. Mah! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you end the vlog. Woo!